What is up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jesse Lorienti and today we're going to be unboxing the Kotobukiya Batman Rebirth. So real quick, Kotobukiya is badass. So this Batman right here was actually the first Kotobukiya, uh, I guess you could say plastic statue that I ever got. Really and the look of Jim Lee from back uh, when Hush was hitting about that time. And then you can see over here, the Dark Knight Returns, Batman just beating the Joker. Uh, I wish that he had a battering sticking out of his eye and everything. And then up here, you can see this really kind of like new looking style of Batman with uh, a little Robin in there. It's weird because Kotobukiya kind of shifted from these big single pieces to more of this smaller streamlined style where they got magnets in their feet. And you can see, whoop, the stand, the metal stand just clips right to it, just hooks right down. But uh, they started this whole New 52 style where they're making all the characters and everything, and they're really uniformed. Just kind of like, uh, almost like it looked like a, a prototype, type, or not a prototype, kind of like a, a sketch style. Like this is the neutral look of this character. But uh, love Kota Bakia, kind of cut back, only go after the single pieces. I'll have Gotham by Gaslight Batman coming soon. I loved Gotham by Gaslight. I The Elseworlds comic is what I was really familiar with. And the movie was good. They kind of, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, Bruce Wayne, they changed the story of uh, his uncle Jack, I believe it was, or his uncle, some guy, uh, who was really close to him. It was his uncle of uh, sorts, but he turned out to be Jack the Ripper, where, uh, Martha, he confessed his love to Martha Wayne and she laughed at him. Like, laughed and laughed and laughed at him. And, uh, it hurt bad. And he killed the Waynes. And then, you know, he, Batman gets put in prison and ends up figuring everything out and whatnot. And runs him down. And then, basically, I wish I... It's been so long since I've read it. But anyway, basically, Batman pulls off his mask and he's like, it's me, I'm Bruce, you killed my parents. But and then the movie, they totally kind of twisted it where it was Commissioner Gordon and whatnot. But the comic was subtle. It was Elseworlds. It was badass. But anyway, that'll be the Gotham by Gaslight one. Probably should have saved all that for the Gotham by Gaslight one. But, oh, real quick, guys. I want to give a shout out. These are the Batman Missions figures by Mattel. I got this at Target, 20 bucks. And these are badass. I'll be opening them. I mean, what a cool style. What a cool reinvention. Re like, we haven't had good Batman toys for kids in a long time. Like, that, his section has just kind of sat so small and just kind of dried up but uh anyway batman rebirth so you can't really see much of him in here very cool artwork on the side uh very cool little batman family thing going on over here but i once read this article so i really stay away from clickbait articles uh i used to be big into them i used to read everything I seen. I wanted all the information I could get and right around the time with BVS and Suicide Squad and everything, I really just tapered off, fell off. When you were reading articles like how people so desperately wanted Jared Leto's Joker to not be Joker and to be like, uh, people were trying to say it was Tim Drake as the Joker and just all this shit. I just left all those articles behind. That's about the time I got off Facebook. Facebook was just always everyone arguing and fighting all the time. But uh, anyway, in that one of those articles, I had read like the top 10 worst Batman suits of all time. 
And they chose the Rebirth suit as one of them, and I, I don't know. To me, I love the Rebirth suit. It's our era right now of Batman. Like, I don't know what there is to hate about it. The thing I think about, though, when I think about Rebirth, I'm thinking about uh, Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo's, basically their in-game night or Court of Owls. That whole story where that Court of Owls stretched all the way to in-game. Uh, everything in between, I'm thinking of... Uh, because that was the New 52, but uh, before that, and then it moved into that Rebirth suit. And then uh, Dark Knight's Metal. Like, he had the Rebirth suit all throughout there. Everything that's going on in Batman uh, titled comic of right now that started back in like 2016, I believe, sometime around there. Uh, so many artists have had such cool takes in the variant covers on the Rebirth suit, including one of my favorite, Tim Sell. Uh, just every artist has taken that idea of the Rebirth suit and have made it just badass. But I always think back to Greg Capullo's Batman. But uh, enough of all that. Let's go ahead. Let's get this guy open. All right, give you a close-up. You can't really see. They've uh, packaged him all up you can see the side right here with all the the rebirth characters you know uh i do wish i had picked up the superman they did i kind of sat on it never did anything until it was too late and then i was like you know what i guess it wasn't meant to be but that superman that basically goes with this batman one tenth whoops one-tenth painted statue from Kotobukiya. He is dope. He sells for, you know, uh, he's well over retail at the moment. But, I mean, I just didn't think he was going to go that quick. I mean, I had plenty of chances, and it took quite a while for him to sell out. But once he did, that was it. He was gone. You see inside, just Batman. Straight up rebirth. All right, let's go ahead and chop some of this tape. So we got on this back part, kind of taped down, we got the base. A nice little metal base with a uh, type of fabric, like a felt. You got a little battering. All right. There it is. Where there's some tape on here. Kind of heavy. It's got some weight to him. Oh, but he is sick. Oh man. Oh, definitely. Definitely cool. Take a look at this. You can see the, the nice purple detail inside the cape. You've got that symbol outlined in gold. Oh, very cool. I feel, I don't know when the last time I seen the actual prototype, but I feel like things about him have changed from seeing him now. But, you know, probably nothing has, but it just hooks right down. We know he's going to stand very well and get a nice look. There you go. You got your Batman Rebirth symbol. Come on up here, here's that belt. Very cool, the battering and the purple detail inside the cape. And that cowl. Very cool.
cool. Uh, very Fabok uh, looking. I probably butchered his name, but oh, very cool. Very buff. Very kind of hidden under the suit and everything, but definitely dope. You can see the back detail. See right back here, back of him. It almost looks like his head would turn, but I'm glad it doesn't. But, oh, cool. Just the way that cape's all bunched up. Very natural looking flow to it. What a cool addition. How cool is that? Give you a look at all of them together right here. Very cool. You can see the size, you can see how these two fit pretty well together. Definitely something cool to add into your collection. Those right there, everyone, are my Kota Bikia Batmans. I definitely love the company. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in, everyone. I, I hope you liked, I hope you found some value in this video. I hope I may have informed your decision on whether you should pick this Batman up or not, which in this case, I 100% endorse him. But uh, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and leave a like and a subscribe if you'd like. And uh, remember, keep buying toys.